A teacher attempts to help five troublesome students to pass high school even though they died 20 years ago. During prom night, Modesta notices a pretty lady who beckons him to be her partner. The two dance together and Modesta leans for a kiss. However, everyone around him starts laughing because no one else can see his partner. Realizing this, Modesta falls back as the ghost screams before leaving. Years later, Modesto is now a teacher but still struggles with teenagers. His students make fun of him during class, so the principal fires him for being unable to control the teens. Soon, he attends therapy, mourning how every school he's been in has fired him. The therapist looks on the bright side since the man doesn't see ghosts anymore. Unbeknownst to him, Modesto can see the therapist's father, who's equally disappointed in the man's assumptions. At Monforte Academy, the literature teacher goes to the library when an anatomical model scares him. He runs for his life, but inanimate objects corner him. With no choice, the man throws himself out the window. The next day, the president of the parents' association, Otegi, complains to Principal Tina how there have been eight teachers that quit, several accidents within school grounds, and numerous students claiming to have nightmares. He volunteers to help out, but the principal asserts that she has things under control. Just then, the school board's chair lady calls Tina regarding the incident with the literature teacher. She warns Tina that there should be no further incidents until the end of the semester, otherwise they'd be shut down. Soon, Modesta applies at Monforte. On his first day, he struggles to find his classroom, so he approaches a lady named Angela, who's admiring the choir practice. However, she looks shocked that he's speaking to her and leaves. Eventually, he reaches his classroom, but the students fool him into thinking that the class is elsewhere. Modesto ends up at a school wing that's being renovated and enters the abandoned library. There, he finds strange students, Pinfloy, Jorge, Marivi, and Danny. Under Danny's orders, the others start trying to scare him, but Modesto just asks what they're doing, surprising them. Just then, Angela rushes in to warn them that the new teacher talked to her. Realizing this, the students scream and Modesto runs off. Passing by Tina on the way, he tells her that he's quitting. Tina tries asking him what's wrong when they see the school display where Modesta finds a memorial for the students he just met. The students follow the teacher, and when the principal doesn't see them, Modesta concludes that they're ghosts. He runs off, and the students chase after him. However, when he goes past the school gates, the students are unable to cross. When Jorge shakes the gate in anger, Tina notices the strange movement. Later, she meets the new teacher at his home. She knows he saw something in their school, so she begs for help. With that, Modesta returns to the school and describes the students he saw, which Tina confirms as the ones who died there 20 years ago. During this, a group of students led by Elsa plays around with a Ouija board. This allows the ghosts to scare and chase them out of the room. Elsa just laughs and becomes more curious about the spirits, so Jorge uses the board to introduce himself to her. Meanwhile, Tina reveals to the new teacher that the five students died during a Christmas party. The group was sent to the library for detention, but a fire started, and no one heard the alarm because of the party music. Tina begs Modesto to get rid of the spirits, otherwise, the board will shut her school down. He thinks this is crazy, but the principal assures him that it isn't, validating the man's struggles with seeing ghosts. With new purpose and confidence, Modesto happily goes to work the next day, and talks to the spirits, who are still baffled that he can see them. The students start rallying around him, but Danny distrusts the man and threatens him. Standing up for himself, Modesto orders the ghost to leave the premises. However, this leads him to get tied up at the gymnasium. Troubled, he returns to his therapist but directs his questions to the ghost of the man's father. The dead therapist is eager to talk to someone and hints that ghosts who remain on Earth usually have unfinished business. This makes Modesto wonder if the students just need to graduate from high school. With that, he prepares the library for class the next day. Modesto explains that they're stuck since they need to finish high school. The others think this is a good idea, but Danny refuses and convinces his friends to punish the teacher. Later, however, Angela thinks they should give Modesto a chance, but Danny argues that they're doing well as ghosts. To prove this, he possesses someone in the volleyball team and kisses another woman. Meanwhile, Modesto gets the students' files from the secretary, Manuela. When she rants about students playing loud music, Modesto gets an idea. He takes speakers in the library to tempt the students with modern technology. This brightens the ghost's mood, more so when he updates them about their favorite musicians and sports events. This has the ghost reminisce on the things they miss later on. Danny reminds them that being a ghost is great since they're invisible, can move things, and walk through walls. However, the others argue that it isn't enough. 
With this, the others agree that they want to move on and this angers Danny. During this, Elsa looks at the memorial display for the fallen students and finds Jorge's picture, which piques her interest in him further. The next day, Modesta finds the ghosts prepared for class, except for Danny. Jorge later hangs out with Elsa, using her laptop to communicate. As the two flirt, Angela watches the choir practice again, admiring the music. Meanwhile, Otegi complains to Tina about Modesto, whom he found talking to himself. The new teacher then arrives, so Otegi reminds him about the school's founder day, which is a tribute to Tina's father. Otegi thinks they should invite the chair lady, but the principal refuses to take the risk. On the stage, Danny approaches Angela, wondering why she didn't join the choir when she was alive since she has a great voice. She admits that it was her dream, but her parents refuse since it distracts her from her studies. He encourages her to join the choir now, assuring her that no one else will hear her. Nervously, Angela goes to the microphone, unaware that Danny is increasing the volume. The ghost starts singing, but the students hear this as a haunting voice from the speakers. They start running in fear, and Angela realizes that Danny set her up. Hearing what happened, Jorge later confronts his friend, reminding him that they're not supposed to mess with each other. Danny just mocks him for listening to their new teacher, but Jorge defends that the man is trying to help them. He also knows that his friend is flirting with a living woman, so Danny goes to Elsa and breaks her laptop. Having pushed everyone away, the bully is later at the bleachers alone. Despite what he did, Elsa reconnects with Jorge using the library's computer. One day, Modesto has his ghost students play a quiz game to test their knowledge. To everyone's surprise, Danny joins. Afterward, Tina tells the new teacher that the chair lady is attending their founder's day since Otegi invited her. She fears that something terrible will happen and it'll get her fired. Modesto assures her that he'll have the ghosts pass on before the event. The two continue talking until night as Modesto tries to make her feel better. Tina wonders if the dead are happy, adding that not living life to the fullest is worse than death. With this, she invites the new teacher to dance and as they do, the ghosts watch them from the rooftop and tease their teacher. Just then, Tina leans for a kiss but Modesto gets nervous and leaves. He then confronts his students and blames them for getting him nervous. Jorge advises him to be more assertive, so the teacher takes this as an inspiration to be more assertive to them. The next day, Modesto becomes stricter with the students, making them work out, study their books, and even work at the laboratory. With a new purpose, the ghost students start feeling more hopeful and grow close together. In his spare time, Jorge continues flirting with Elsa. When he tells her that he'll leave soon, Elsa asks to go with him. She doesn't have friends and would rather be with him than anyone else. He jokingly asks how she'd join him in the afterlife, so Elsa reveals that she's attempted to take her life before. This worries him. On the day of the ghost's exam, Elsa arrives to wish Jorge good luck, revealing that he told her everything. She then declares her love for the ghost and promises to see him soon. After she leaves, Modesta worries about her words, but Jorge dodges the topic and focuses on his exam. Later, the teacher announces their grades and everyone passes. The students celebrate and see the light coming from the window. They prepare to move on, only to find that it was just the sun and the angels they were hearing were the choir downstairs. The group gets angry, blaming the teacher for misleading them. As vengeance, the ghost causes more chaos than ever. Coincidentally, the previous literature teacher runs, only for the ghost to mess with him again. Driven to a corner, Modesta goes to the ghost therapist again. He reports that getting the students to pass high school didn't work, but the therapist clarifies that passing high school was Modesta's idea, not his. When the therapist suggests that someone needs to atone for their sins, Modesta realizes something. He hurries back to school, only to find the students' parents gathered to complain about the school. Otegi blames everything on Modesta and even got records that the teacher was fired from the other schools for poor behavior. He questions the principal on why she hired him, so Modesta confesses his ability to see ghosts to spare Tina from the blame. However, this just convinces them that he's mad, so Otegi fires him. Seeing Tina not defending him, the teacher storms off. He gathers his things from the abandoned library, where Danny mocks that he was right about him. Modesto admits that he was wrong about passing their exams, but asserts they have unfinished business that they must face to move on. With that in mind, he claims that someone has been keeping a secret that affects them all. Knowing what he means, Danny tells him to be quiet. However, the teacher insists that his friends deserve to know the truth. Guilty, Danny finally confesses that he started the fire that killed them all. He only wanted to trigger the fire alarm so they could leave and join the party. He also admits that he's scared to move on since he might end up in hell. With the truth out, Danny storms off, overwhelmed. 
While Modesto exits the premises, Tina catches up to him, apologizing that she couldn't defend him since she can't risk losing her father's school. He reminds her that it's her school now, but her father's memory is ruining her life. That evening, the other ghosts watch Danny ridden with guilt outside. The next day, Modesto goes to his therapist, who is now sharing his feelings instead. Using his ability, the teacher assures the man that his father is proud of him, even though the ghost keeps denying this. Modesto continues that the ghost can't move on because he doesn't want to leave his son, which the father finally admits to. Just then, Tina calls Modesto, but he ignores her. Desperate, the principal then asks Manuela to call the ghost students over the PA to meet her at the library. There, she begs them for help since Modesto won't talk to her anymore. When she gets no response, she turns away, unaware that the ghosts have just arrived late. She mutters that she misses the new teacher before leaving. Marvin notes that they missed the teacher too, since he's the only one who tried to help them. Just then, Jorge gets an idea to get him back. They find Manuela doing a ritual to drive the spirits away, alarmed when the principal had her call them earlier. Jorge suggests possessing her to call Modesto and pin Floyd volunteers, excited to try it out. The ghost succeeds and pretends to be the secretary to ask Modesto to return to the school to sign some documents. Modesto just thinks that Tina put her up to this and Pinfloy assures him that the principal is into him. This appeases the man, so Modesto agrees to go. After Pinfloy leaves Manuela's body, the ladies return to the library. Marivy rants that it's Danny's fault that they're stuck there. Angela thinks their friend might have kept a secret since he was scared, but Marivy becomes suspicious about why she's defending him. Angela decides to finally reveal her secret. She takes Marivy to her old locker where the other woman's boyfriend, Chema, accidentally placed the letter. The letter reveals that Chema was planning to leave Marivy to move to London, breaking the woman's heart. On Founder's Day, Tina notices Modesto, so she goes to him. He starts flirting with her, only to be interrupted by his ghost students from the rooftop. Seeing him, Otegi gets angry, but Tina defends that Modesto is helping them since strange things are happening to their school. When the man denies this, the ghost students start throwing balls from the rooftop to prove her point. Still, Otegi blames Tina for insulting the school board and her father's memory. The angry woman rants that he's always putting her father's memory over her head and reminds him that she's the principal, not him. When Tina mentions Otegi's name, Marivy realizes that he's Chema. She tells Modesto to confront him, so the teacher mentions the dead student to the man. The teacher threatens to mention his past with Marivy to the board to ruin his career, so the man hurries to speak to the chair lady first. However, the choir's performance is ongoing, so the chair lady refuses to let Otegi interrupt it. Seeing how the audience is bored with the performance, Modesta goes to Angela and encourages her to perform again. To prevent another panic, Angela nervously possesses one student to sing. This livens up the show and inspires the choir, so the more confident Angela loosens up. Otegi suddenly interrupts the song and announces that all the strange things happening to their school is because of the principal's mental instability. Pissed, Danny possesses the man and makes him say outrageous things. With the man disgraced, Danny leaves just as Tina takes the mic and announces that the school will be bringing back their traditional Founder's Day party. This uplifts everyone's mood. That evening, Modesto and the ghosts gather, allowing Danny to apologize for what he did. They forgive and hug him, but Jorge quickly leaves to check on Elsa. To his horror, the woman has drowned herself in the pool. He dives in to save her, but when she wakes up, she can see him. Behind them, Modesto desperately tries to revive her body while Jorge encourages Elsa's ghost to continue living and experiencing what he couldn't. She insists that she wants to be with him, so Jorge promises that they'll be together at the right time. The two kiss, and Elsa's spirit returns to her body as she finally wakes up. Later, the group gathers as Modesto thinks that everyone has fulfilled their goals except for Pinfloy. The student shares that he just wants to go to a club, so his friends take him to the new Founder's Day party. There, Pinfloy gets crazy with the music. Suddenly, a slow song starts and Tina appears on the dance floor, mimicking the ghost that appeared to Modesto years before. She invites him to dance and the two get close. As Modesto leans to kiss Tina, Marivy suddenly pulls him outside since Pinfloy feels sick. He decides that he'll never drink again and suddenly, the lights around them brighten. With everyone's goals fulfilled, they hold each other's hands, waiting for the afterlife to take them. Tina joins Modesto, and with one final glance at the world, Danny thanks their teacher for helping them. The group goes into the light and disappears, finally moving on. With their mission complete, the principal and the teacher kiss and start their lives together. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.